Now let's start. Now the first thing that you need to know is uh, series circuits and uh, parallel circuits. Eh? What does it mean by series circuits and a parallel circuit? This is about the connections of the resistor inside the circuit. So the resistor connected in one non-branched wire is said to be connected in series, whereas resistor connected in a branched wire is said to be connected in parallel. So to know whether the circuit is series or parallel, you check, you need to check whether there is a branch in the circuit. For example, let's see this one, okay? Uh, you see, let's say we start from here and then we go to the end. Okay, there's no branch, okay? No branch, okay, this is series circuit. Uh, this one, okay? We start from here, go here, go here, and then here. Okay, there's no branch, right? So, uh, so this is a series circuit. This one, okay, start from here, you go here, go here, and go here, okay? There's no branch, okay? No branch, yeah? and this is series circuit. Because sometimes the students say, oh, okay, now these three resistors arranged in this way, okay, this is on top of this, and this is below of this, okay? It looks like a parallel circuit. Now, this is not parallel circuit, okay? It's not parallel circuit. It's a, it's a series circuit because it has no branch in the circuit. Yeah? From the beginnings to the end, there's no branch. Yeah? So this is a, it's a series circuit. Now for parallel circuit, it has branch. For example, so you start from here, you go to this point, then you can see there's three branches, right? Go here, go here, go here, three branches. Uh, then this is a parallel circuit, okay? Um, this one, okay, you go here, okay, now there's the branches here. You go here, okay, now there's the branches here, okay? Uh, so this is a parallel circuit. Uh, this is also the parallel circuit because you go here, then so, uh, it branch into two branches, right? Okay, it's split into two branches. Uh, this is also the parallel circuit because you go to this point and then it's split into two branches. Uh, so these four are arranged in parallel. Okay, so you see here uh, when when you go to some point, certain point in the circuit, it branch, it split into branches, uh, and then that is parallel circuit. So that's the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit. Resistance in series and parallel circuit. Uh. So this is a series circuit eh? and uh, this is a parallel circuit. So let's say the resistance of uh, this resistor is R1, R2, and R3 respectively. And uh, this one also R1, R2, R3 respectively. So in series circuit, the effective resistance is equal to the sum of the individual res resistance. Effective resistance is uh, the, the, total, eh? the total resistance from this point to this point. Eh? Okay. It's given uh, as uh, this... Uh, R1 plus R2 plus R3 is the sum of the resistance of each resistor. Uh, R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. R1 plus R2 plus R3. Yeah? It's very easy, right? Now for parallel circuit, and you have learned this in form 3, okay? Okay, for parallel circuit, the sum of the resistance the effective resistance can be calculated from the following equations. Uh, from the following equations, one over R equal to one over R one R one plus one over R two plus one over R three. Okay, if we have three resistor. Okay, if you have four resistor, they will become plus one over R four. Uh. I, I don't like this these equations. Okay, so I I do some modifications. To this equation, sir. Okay, to make it uh, easier for the calculations. Eh? Okay, so uh, so I make this one over R to become R. Eh? Okay, I change this one over R to become R, and uh, to do this, this part. Okay, this part eh, it will become the reciprocal. We call it the reciprocal. Okay, uh, then we put a bracket. Okay, we put a bracket here, and then uh, to the power of negative one. Okay, so. Let me rewrite it again. So then the equations or the formulas will become uh, R equal to brackets 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 reciprocal. Okay, now you can uh, calculate this easily by using your calculator because your calcula calculator has these functions, reciprocal. Uh, this is easier. This is easier for the calculations and then it can uh, avoid careless mistake because if you use this one, okay, sometimes the student there forget to change change this one over R to R. So that's careless mistake. Huh? But if you use this, then you don't have these problems, okay? Straight away, you will get an answer for R.
So that is the formulas or the equations that we are going to use to find the effective resistance in series and in a parallel circuits. Okay, now example, example. Okay, this one we discussed A and B. Okay, A. So this is a series circuit, right? Series circuit so because it has no branch. Okay, for A, uh, it has no branch. So therefore, the effective resistance uh, R. R is equal to uh, 2 ohm plus 3 ohm plus 6 ohm, which is equal to 11 ohm. Very easy, right? So that's for A, yeah? Then how about B? B, yeah? Okay, B. It's a parallel circuit, right? So for parallel circuit, the formula is uh, 1 over R. Okay, 1 over R equal to uh, 1 over R1 uh, is 3 plus... Uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, okay? Because all three resistance are, are 3 ohms, okay? So therefore, so this is equal to uh, 1 ohm. 1 ohm, uh, okay? So 1 over R equals to 1 ohm, and R also equals to 1 ohm. Uh, uh, 1 ohm. Okay, now, uh, actually we can do this uh, by using another method, uh, okay? Uh, okay. The, the method sounds like this. In parallel circuit, if the resistance of each resistor are the same, like 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm, they are the same, right? Okay. Then you can find the effective resistance by using this way, okay? We divide the resistance of either one of the resistor, like 3 ohms, okay? Uh, we divide it by the number of resistor, okay? 3 ohm, we have 3 resistor, then we divide it by 3. So then the effective resistance R is equal to 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1 ohm. Straight away, get the answer. I'll give you another exam example, okay? Let's say this one 5 ohm. This one also 5 ohm. Okay, so they are the same, right? Uh, this method only applies uh, if the resistance of each of the resistor in the parallel circuits uh, are the same. So the effective resistance is equal to the resistance of one of the resistor divided by the number of the resistor. We have two resistors, right? So divided by two. So it's equals to 2.5 ohm. Uh, one more example. Okay, this one I give four resistor. And each one six ohm, all six ohm. Six, 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 six. So what was the effective resistance? Six divided by four, which is equal to one point. 5 ohm, okay? If the resistance of uh, all the resistors are the same, then you can use this method. Or else you use this. Eh? Now, of course, you can also use this method. You will get the same answer, okay? But if the resistance is not the same for all the resistors, then you cannot use this method. You have to use this method. Eh? For C and D, uh, we call this combined circuit. This is a series circuit. This is parallel circuit. Now these two are combined circuit. Why combined circuit? Because it's a combination of series circuit and parallel circuit. For example, you can see that there are two these two resistors. Now these two resistors are connected in series, right? So this is a series circuit. But then this these two resistors, okay, are parallel to this one, right? Because you see here it go here and then it's split into two branches. Huh? So this and these are parallel, but this and these are series. Huh? So this is a combined circuit. Now for combined circuit, what we do is we divide the uh, resistors into sections. How we divide, it depends on uh, which one is easier for the calculation. For example, these two are in series, right? So we can find the resistance easily. Uh, then we, we, we take this as one section. We take this as one section. What's the effective resistance of these sections? So if it's series, then the effective resistance is 6 ohm. Eh? 6 ohm. Okay, because they are series. Series, we uh, we add it up. 3 plus 3, 6 ohms. So these sections, uh, the effective resistance is 6 ohm. Okay. Now this section is parallel to this 6 ohm, right? This resistor. So we assume that now this become one resistor, okay? The whole thing eh, is 6 ohm. And this is also 6 ohm. 6 ohm and 6 ohm, and they are parallels. So what's the effective resistance? 3, yes. Okay, straight away we take 6 divided by 2, uh, and it's equal to 3 ohm. 
Okay, you see that that's how easy. So you see we we group this resistor into sections. Uh, that's easier. Okay, that's that's for C. Yeah? And how about D? Okay. Now for D, uh, we can see that uh, it's hard to find here and here, right? But it's easy for do to, to, for us to do the calculation for this one first, right? These two are parallels, uh, parallel. Uh, so we make this as one sections. This is one sections. What's the effective resistance of these sections? Two ohm divided by two resistor, one ohm. Because it's parallel. Uh. If it's parallels then uh, and the resistance of the resistor are the same, then we straight away take the resistance divided by the number of resistor. Okay, two ohm divided by two resistor become one ohm. Uh, and then this resistor are uh, this resistor is series in series with these sections. Okay, so after we build a sections, we assume that this section has a big resistor. Okay, so this and this are in series now. So this is 3 ohm, this is 1 ohm. So what's the effective resistance? Yeah, the R is equal to 3 ohm plus 1 equal to uh, 4 ohm. That's how we find the effective resistance of a combined circuit. It looks very easy, right? Now in these questions, uh, Given that the equivalent resistance of the connection in the figure above is 0 0.8 ohm, means that the effective resistance is uh, 0 0.8 ohm. The effective resistance is 0 0.8 ohm. This one is a parallel circuit, right? Okay, parallel circuit. So the effective resistance for parallel circuit is uh, R equal to 1 over 2 plus... Uh, uh, let me put R prime, okay? R prime, uh, because uh, because we already have a R here, okay? I shouldn't use the same symbol, uh, so I use R prime for this one. And then one over R plus one over four reciprocal, okay? Now this R one is equal to zero point eight ohm, uh, so zero point eight equal to one over two plus one over R plus uh, one over four reciprocal, okay? To eliminate this reciprocal, to eliminate this reciprocal, eh, okay, uh, we invert the fractions. Eh? For example, eh, if it's two over three reciprocal, okay, then it will become three over two. Eh? If it's two reciprocal, then it become one over two. Eh? If it's one over two reciprocal, then it will become two. Eh? Two over one, which is equal to two. So that is the mathematics that you need to know. Eh? Uh, what's the meanings of this reciprocal? So to eliminate this reciprocal, uh, this 0 0.8 become 1 over 0 0.8. Uh, 1 over 0 0.8, uh, then it's equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over R plus 1 over 4. Of course, of course, uh, okay. Just now we learned that this one, uh, this formula actually is equal to, uh, it's, it's come from this one, right? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R, uh, so 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R. 3 this is r2 r2 and r3 so actually you can straight away use this one uh, then you can avoid the reciprocal you can straight away use this one uh, then you can avoid the reciprocal uh, straight away you will get this so what we want to find is 1 over r right so we move this 1 over 2 uh, and this uh, 1 over 4 to another side then so you will get 1 over r equal to 1 over 0 0.8 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 uh, because uh, 1 over 2 move to another side, it become minus 1 over 2. And this plus 1 over 4 move to another side, it become minus 1 over 4. So uh, use your calculator to find the answer. 1 over 0 0.8 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. 1 over 0 0.8 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. This is equal to 1 over 2. Eh? 1 over 2. So 1 over R equal to 1 over 2, and therefore R equal to 2 ohm. This one is more complicated, okay? So this is another section. This is another one. Okay, now the effective resistance. Eh? This one. This one is uh, 2 plus R, right? This is 2 plus R. And this is 3. Eh? This and this are parallel. Parallel. Eh? So therefore... Therefore, the effective resistance is equal to 1 over 2 plus R eh? and then plus 1 over 3.
because they are parallel, uh, parallel. So we use these equations, uh, okay? Because if two resistors are parallel, if two resistors are parallel, are R one, R two, uh, okay? Then the effective resistance will be uh, one over R one plus one over R two uh, reciprocal. Okay, I forgot to put the reciprocal. So since this is two plus R, eh, okay. So it's uh, one over two plus R plus one over uh, one over three. Okay, and this two, uh, this two together, this two together, okay, is uh, in series with this two ohm, right? This two is series with this one. Okay. So therefore, uh, plus two, plus two, uh, is equal to four because they say that the, the effective resistance is equal to four. So therefore, uh, this is one over two plus r plus one over three reciprocal is equal to four minus two, uh, four minus two, which is equal to two. Uh, so one over two plus r plus one over three. Okay. Now, uh, to eliminate the reciprocal. This reciprocal, okay. So this two will become one over two, uh, and then this equals one, two plus r plus one over three. Now this one over three we can move to another side. Then it become one, two plus r equals to one over two minus one over three, uh, which is equals to one over six. Uh. Okay, this equation is so two, uh, two plus r is equal to six, right? One over two plus r equals to one over six. So uh, therefore two plus r equals six. Uh. So two plus r equals six. And uh, R equals to 6 minus 2 equal to uh, 4 ohm. So the R is equal to 4 ohm. Actually, this question actually is considered quite hard. Eh? It's quite complicated, uh, quite hard. Uh, usually, it won't come out in your actual SBM exam. It, it may come out in your school test or school exam, but it won't come out in your SBM. If you think this is too hard for you, don't worry. Uh, I, I just want to show you the calculations on it. Yeah? Show you the calculations on it. But in exam, usually they, it wouldn't give you such uh, hard questions. Eh? But the previous one, yes. Uh, this one, yes. This this may come out in your exam. But usually this one, uh, they won't give you such uh, hard questions. 